Hey YouTube, it's LJ and I'm here to post a video response to Slime Am the Best Living in the 70s thread. Born myself in 1976, there was just a tremendous amount of material that could have represented my favorite album from each of these years. And there within lie the simple rules of engagement. Select one album from each year of the 1970s, 1970 through 1979 that represents your favorite album from each of those years. An easy task. Much like the recent 80s thread, quite the opposite. A quite difficult task. My criteria for choosing these, I tried to keep it simple. It's of the 10 or 12 <laughs> that I looked at for each of those years, which is really the one that's been with you the longest. Can you put on, drop the needle on track one, listen to it straight through, and it seems like only a minute's gone by. It's over already, and you listen to it again. Let's begin. Miles Davis, Bitches Broke. A tremendous landmark of an album. Should be no surprise to, uh, to many to see this. This is just a, a truly phenomenal, phenomenal album. Please find it and enjoy it if you haven't. The Who, Who's Next. I love every track on this album. This is by far and away my favorite Who album that The Who ever released. Um, I consider myself a pretty big Who fan. Uh, I like really all of their material, but for me personally, for as many great things as they did, they never did better than Who's Next. The band, Rock of Ages, live in concert. A multi-LP set that from track one to the end of the last track is a tremendous sonic experience. What an amazing, well, band. Hence the title. Seriously, just what a, a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal live album. Uh, and I tend to vary on live albums whether I like them or not. And this one is just amazing. Genesis, Selling England by the Pound. This is one of the decisions that was really relatively simple for this year. An amazing, amazing album. Enough has been said about this. This one gets uh, shown very frequently and for good reason. Another Genesis pick, The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway. From the second the needle drops to the second it's lifted, it all went by too fast. Seamless, beautiful, perfect. You have to admire a band that can put out two ambitious adventures, such as Selling England by the Pound and The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway in rapid succession and within a year. A tremendous feat. Neither are to be missed. Led Zeppelin's Physical Graffiti. By far and away, my favorite Led Zeppelin LP. My favorite packaging, the way the windows slide out to re reveal the letters in the windows or the inserts slide out. A tremendous song list, full of power, full of well-refined skills, and phenomenal work from all of the band members. Still with me? Maybe I should have said when I began shooting. Any of these are amazing, amazing albums. And if you don't own or aren't familiar with any of them, you really need to be. Look them up, hunt them down, pick them up, and enjoy every note. On we go. Kiss Destroyer. My worn and longtime copy of a tremendously different album for KISS that in conjunction with Alive made KISS a household name. Sonically Ambitious, produced by Bob Ezrin, who is behind many other successful albums. Many refer to this as 
Kiss learned to play their instruments on this album. I don't know if I agree with that, but it's not to be missed. One of my all-time favorites, not just for this year, David Bowie's Low. This is probably one of the many albums that I own that gets played on a regular basis, and it has since the day I bought it. I absolutely love this album, its mood, its atmosphere, its instrumentation, its lyrics, everything about it are simply brilliant. It is simply brilliant. <laughs> Coming to a close, another very easy one for me, Judas Priest's Stained Class. Again, another album I listen to on almost a weekly basis, and I have since I was in high school. I absolutely love this album. This is the one that has the uh, legendary story of having landed Judas Priest in court, uh, maybe a decade after it was released, over a uh, suicide death pact that two friends entered in and then went and executed the plan and well one of them themselves the other not later would pass away but it's just a, a tremendous eerie slow crunching brooding yet heavy mood and now legacy unfortunately behind this album the band of course was uh, I believe found innocent a, a phenomenal seminal truly genre defining and career defining album for Judas Priest We will close, as some who know me may have expected, with The Wall. No question. An easy, easy, easy choice for me. A long, long, long time favorite. And always will be, and for good reason. If there's anyone on the face of the planet that has not heard The Wall, send me an email and I'll send you a copy. <laughs> a CDR copy, not my copy. Pick it up, it's amazing. Slide, thank you for the thread, thank you for the opportunity. YouTube, thank you for watching.